guys to a new video. So excited to be filming this video today because I am going to show you my favorite vegan hotspots in London. I have been living in London for five months now and I am so in love with the city. In every city you can see my maps is just pointed with so much hotspots. I mean, I can't go everywhere but mostly when I do a walk or when I have to go to an appointment, I try to go to as much as place as possible. Going to hotspots is one of my hobbies. I don't know if you can say that, but I'm going to get breakfast. I'm really hungry, so I'm so excited. I'm just going to take you with me. I hope you like this video. Let's get started. <laughs> In London, you have so many amazing bookstores, and one of them is Waterstones. It's behind me. I'm going to take a stroll. Maybe I'm going to buy some books, but let's go together. A book that I saw. This is five ingredient vegan book. And I saw this amazing greens and noodles. Oh, it looks so good. My goal is to have a cookbook one day. I mean, it's so nice when you have like all your recipes in a book and then you take it and you can give it to anyone as a gift or just to have it in your kitchen. It stands just like beautifully. Um, that's one of my biggest goals. So for in the future. I saw this book. It says that walking strengthens our body, calms our mind, and lifts our spirits. I love these kinds of books that reminds me of being healthy isn't expensive at all. It's just always accessible and it's always a choice 
whether you want to feel good or not and whether you want to get healthy and do something for yourself every day okay i am going to my lunch place right now <laughs> I get distracted very easily. <laughs> I'm in the Reformation right now and I'm going to fit some clothes. I personally love this store because you can swipe whatever things you want and then you click on an item and you say like, oh, I want this size and then they order it. Then you get your own space to fit. This is the first outfit that I'm wearing. But I find the jeans a little bit too small. But I like the t-shirt, like the tag. It's kind of cute. Then I have this black t-shirt, which is always good, but a little bit too simple, I think. Then this one, it's like cardigan. I like it. Then I have this super cute blouse. Okay, this dress is also so beautiful. It has like these ripples here. And it's so nice. Ah, I can choose. I want it all. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Another favorite restaurant of mine is Mildred's. I am currently sitting at Mildred's. It's a vegan restaurant and they have like such nice options on their menu. I've been here I think like six times already. I think I'm going to get the spinach gyoza. Maybe the tortelloni, I don't know. Or the nachos. All right, I changed my mind. I'm going for the mushroom stir fry for like udon noodles. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it was like an impulsive thing. Also, I bought some amazing things. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I was like, for a long time of period, I was really craving for new clothes because I felt all the clothes that I had were just a little bit like old and I didn't got excited when I wore them. But now I feel like I have new amazing pieces which I'm gonna wear with so much excitement. I love, love, love it and I love to wear nice things. try the pastries. Oh. This is the pistachio one. So I already took a bite of it. But look how big this thing is. It's insane. It's as big as my head. Let's try it out. Oh my god! This is so delicious! Oh, oh it's so chocolatey and it's so rich in flavor. Wow. I wish you could taste it. Okay, second pastry. The cinnamon bun! I must say, the pistachio one is much better. The cinnamon bun is a little bit dry. It doesn't have like lots of flavor. If you like not too sweet, I would say this one is good, but it can be better. So what I'm gonna do, there is a other store. It's called Buns From Home. 
They have a vegan cinnamon roll. I'm gonna get that one to compare this one and the other one. like compare the one that I got from I think this was from watch house no 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 this one was from yeah watch house and this is the one from buns from home hmm so good I think always the inside is the best part hmm this is so much better than the other one dry you can also see it buns is just chewy it's sweet it has a perfect balance between the really like sugary topping mm. and the dough is just it's really delicious i'm not gonna finish this whole thing because it's just so much so i'm gonna save the rest for later as i'm sipping my tea i want to explain a little bit about my vegan life i have been vegan for over five and a half years almost six years right now i am living a 98 percent vegan diet i eat vegan because i love it i love the taste of vegan food i love fruits and veggies and legumes and grains and all these beautiful ingredients together i would never go back to eating meat or fish or whatsoever but for example these pastries are not vegan and that is the two percent that i cheat i just love to taste things that sometimes aren't vegan for especially these pastries they made of so they're made from love and they made by chefs who put all their hearts into it and make them the best taste experience ever. After five and a half years of being vegan, I've become much more flexible in the choices that I make. If you look to the time where we're living right now, you have so many food substitutes, vegan food substitutes like vegan meat or vegan sausages or vegan cheeses or all these products but they contain also lots of e numbers and lots of bad ingredients which aren't good for you as well so i sometimes rather choose a egg diary contained pastry or thing rather than all these bad compressed not even neutral ingredients a lifestyle should be about balance and i aim to bring as much as balance in my life as possible and if the two percent is part of being flexible and being okay with the choices i make i am overly happy to choose that i know lots of people are going to say you're not a vegan you cheat on vegan lifestyle what are you doing why do you label yourself like that and i even don't want to label myself as a vegan i want to label myself as someone who just enjoys food and chooses plant-based products over anything else i am definitely not gonna eat meat or fish because that is something that heartbreak if i think about that because i choose vegan because i feel it's good for my own health but it's also good for the environment for animals i just love animals and i don't want to harm them and I feel with eggs or diary when a chicken or cow bring good milk or bring good eggs with and they had like a good life and lived freely and not been suppressed by big companies who are producing all those products you really really get some organic things like that sometimes I get so like anxious about this whole discussion whether it's good for you not good for you i feel we all have to choose things that feel good in our hearts and that we choose consciously instead of labeling it as good or bad i really want to explain more of this to you and if you have any questions regarding this or any questions on how i see certain topics in this whole plant-based food um or not plant-based food uh how do you say that like discussion i'm more than happy then to react on it 
but I don't want to make it like a huge topic because I feel it's more about a lifestyle and a balance and choosing consciously whether you eat something or not. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really liked to show you around some hotspots in London. I probably will do this more often. Soon I am traveling to Asia, which I'm so excited about because Asia is the place of discovering new food, discovering new places and exploring all of it. And I have this whole YouTube thing to show you around and to explore it with you guys. So if you have any thing that you'd like to know about me then just let me know in the comments because i'd love to chat with you i am also sharing a q a with you guys soon i want to thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and talk soon